Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Got another quick, uh, sort of a, another rant. Um, you know, I plan on doing two today due to the conversation I had last night. Um, and the first part was Boker. And you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but you know, <laughs> I was working on something today and it just kind of brought it out of me completely. So I decided that I'm definitely doing you know, that video and uh, this one. Um, but first up, I just want to say, guys. I mean, I, I mean, I'm sure there's some good people at Boger and everything like that. So I don't want to. You know, now that I've cooled down a little bit, you know, I don't want to say everything they do is crap. And I also don't want to say that they can't improve or whatever. But you know, just this is just from my experience. I mean, but also I can also tell uh, Anonymous has a lot of old Bokers, and the quality is incredible on these things. Uh, this guy, I mean, he's got a couple of these are just ridiculously solid, very nice ergonomic, very uh, classic looking knives. And even something like this, um, this thing is just rock solid as well. So there, there's some winners out there also, but I mean, the fact that I have to basically pick and choose is just kind of, you know, the whole point. So anyway, now I quickly wanted to show you some stuff and give you my, the opposite is Kershaw. I think that Kershaw, I mean I love Spyderco to death and everything, but Kershaw, in my opinion, takes the cake for Best Knife Company, hands down. Because, like, in my opinion, here's the spectrum, you got the one of the most inexpensive to one of the most expensive. So you got the top shit and the lowest shit. And you know what? There's not much, like, difference when it comes to quality, guys. I mean, you guys, a lot of you guys have Kershaw's and you can get them at the store, like any store, Walmart, you know, wherever, any sporting goods store. I mean, when I go in there, I laugh, because you got Kershaw's, and then you got Gerber's, and Sog's, and they just don't even come close. Like, they're, some of their most expensive knives don't even compare to this thing. I mean, I've seen this thing for, you know, over for 20 bucks retail. Um, and it, it, there's just no beating it. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, this thing is incredible. Like. And my experience, I'm saying this because my experience with, with Kershaw has been just 100% positive. Every time I've called them, there's been an answer right away. They attended to my problems and my needs like right away. And, you know, I sent them a picture of my Cyclone basically in a pile of parts. Everything was broken on. I got like destroyed, like just absolutely destroyed. And I just sent them a picture of a pile. Like, I'm not even kidding, it was a pile. I wish I still had it. And instead of them telling me to basically just like, you know, sorry, but you're an idiot, they said, oh, we don't make that anymore, so here's, you know, $150 credit to our website. Take, pick whatever you want and we'll mail it off to you. Within within a week, I had a brand new knife. I, I forget the name of the one, but it was, it was awesome. And uh, just they've always been there to replace parts for me whenever I need them because I, I lose these little pieces all the time. I, that's why I want great, but I mean it doesn't it's a great construction. It's perfect. None of these screws ever break on me. None of them ever uh, strip. And you know what? I mean it's just miles and miles ahead of any boker. I'm sorry. And then you got their premium and they, they don't even have to try that much to get their shit to be like flawless. And this knife is just a shining example of like just a little bit of care you know and uh, good quality control. You have a uh, an expensive knife, but it's like 60 bucks more than a uh, you know high-end Boker, and uh, this thing is I would gladly pay $400 for this thing. It's it's up there with a real hinderer. I mean, and they know what they're doing, guys. They just know what they're doing. So anyway, that's kind of my my uh, little rant about that. But I also wanted to show you some stuff I'm working on. I didn't get much done today because uh, first off, I got really mad at my uh, <laughs> Bokers, but. Uh, this is a guy I'm working on. This took up my whole damn day because it's the peak carbon fiber. And uh, recently I lost my uh, my one bandsaw, so uh, I had to basically, f you know, reconstruct mine to work better to cut this shit. Because uh, when I get it, it's an, it's like it's a half inch thick and it's just not workable. So I have to cut it down the center. And uh, yeah, I went through about four or five blades just cutting these a sheet. Finally got through it. I was just kind of like, screw it, I'm gonna do this. And uh, yeah, I put all my strength into it. I was like tired as shit after I did it. And I uh, went through two blades uh, just to get through this one. So this one's not done at all. I mean, 
I gotta shape that and just you know tweak some here and there. But I just want to show this one because the dude's been waiting for it, and I'm excited to do it. As you can see, uh, besides just tightening the pivot a little bit to center the blade, you know it's working fine. No blade play, so all's done is all it needs is just some finishing work. So this thing is the loudest lock in any knife I've ever come across. I mean, that thing like pops. Um, so anyway, does anybody want to buy a pimp poker? Because I got one right here for sale. Uh, if anybody wants it, 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was working on this one so I could sell it. And um, yeah, I don't know if you guys want it anymore. Uh, but you know, any problems that came across, I replaced all the hardware. Um, Replace the detent ball, you know, put it in there perfectly. Um, the thing is smooth as hell, no blade play at all. And uh, it's got the anodized clip, anodized liners, um, toxic green, large anzo pattern. Something just blew up next to me. What the fuck was that? But um, yeah, I'm telling this guy. Um, I mean, I like this knife a lot. But um, yeah, the screws all broke, so the problem has been fixed. But I mean, the, you know, that's besides the point. That shouldn't do that anyway. Just because I fixed it doesn't give, isn't you know, passable. Because most people don't have a pile of screws sitting around for this thing uh, to fix it. Uh, I, but fortunately, I do, and it's a lot better now. So, I mean, I do like everything about this knife. Besides that, so but it's super comfortable now. Anyway, so there's that guy, and then I got one more thing to show you guys. And pretty much, if I had my choice of knives in the world, and I could just pick any knife I wanted, um, right around the top of the list would be this knife, guys. And I just wanted to show it. Before I pimped it, um, it's almost like, uh, I don't know. It's, it's just so gorgeous, such an awesome fucking knife. So, I showed it for a second in the earlier video. This is the Jens Anzo Vitamin A Full Titanium collaboration with uh, Tashi Baruka, I think. I can't pronounce the name. It's got a really interesting pattern on it. Kind of like a cut out chiseled diamond angle pattern broken glass kaleidoscope looking thing and this fucking insane blade hand rub number five Yen Zanzo nice recurve a lot of belly there swedge here Not sure what the steel is, but I'm never sure what the steel is. That logo is really cool. This guy's got a cool, cool looking stuff there. I'm not sure if that makes some kind of image or something. But, uh, got the tip down only, which will be getting changed. It says vitamin A on the clip there. Nice lock. Usual Anzo look to it. Perfectly. Perfect lockup, thing is rock solid. Detent is great, as you can see right there, with a the flipper. It reminds me of an RJ Martin. Uh, I'm really bad at flipping knives on camera, but very, very smooth, like great detent. Doing a video, five minutes. <laughs> My girlfriend walks in every time I'm doing a video, I swear to God, so. This thing is just kind of like a Yojimbo 2 on crack or something. But uh, just a hell of a lot cooler than that. So you can see there's no locking issues or anything like that. It's a very nice thick blade. Put it up here next to the ZT560 for Alex. He wants to see a size comparison. Almost the same size. 
but the blade's a little bit shorter, just a slight bit shorter. And this thing just feels great flipping it. And the guy sent the, I have to pimp this thing, the dude sent to me. I called him up right when I got it and offered him pretty much everything I owned for it and he wouldn't go for it, but I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. I mean, firstborn, it could already be his, but you know, you don't wanna take it, so. Apparently he already offered his firstborn for this, so it's too late. This thing is beautiful. And it's not sticky at all. I've come across that a lot of custom Anzos. This thing's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. No stickiness at all. I think uh, Anzo started using some uh, uh, carbonizing. I'm not sure. Let me see. Yep, I can see it in there. That's a good thing. A lot of knife makers weren't aware of a uh, of carbonizing before, so it kind of just came out of nowhere. I just want to show this and share a couple thoughts with you guys. And I'm serious about this guy. Hey, if you want it, it's 100 bucks. I mean, it's a 75 dollar knife, and you're basically getting it for 15 bucks. Pimp job. It's awesome, though. Probably the best whale, Boker whale out there. Fixed up. Hey anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be jealous. Anyway, if you want me to do more of those videos, uh, I try to keep my opinion to myself because I don't want to step on any toes uh, because I sort of, you know, it's sort of my business mixed in with my personal opinion and, you know, we all know how that goes with, you know, like Neptune knives was a good example of what not to do. But anyway, <laughs> I said that as a friend. Um, anyway, so yeah, let me know if you think I should keep doing those uh, once in a while. I want to do them all the time. I don't want to turn into like non knife related like other channels we know. I mean, just completely, you know. Um, that's a little knife I did. But uh, yeah, let me know if you think about doing that and uh, me doing that and uh, definitely just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, peace.